Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will take more examples on the syntax directed translation. And to start with, let's take this one. E produces E plus T. E produces T. T produces T star F. T produces F. F produces ID. And the semantic rules associated with this are E dot NPTR is equals to make node. MK node is actually denoting a make node function which creates a node with three parameters. First one is a pointer. Second one is the data value. And the third one is also a pointer. Okay, so the make node function will create a node with three fields. Okay, if plus is the parameter passed to it, it will have the data value plus, And then it will have a left pointer and a right pointer. Okay, so three fields are there in the make node function, uh, in the definition of the make node function. When we call this make node function, three parameters are passed. First one is the data value, one is the pointer to the left node, and this is the pointer to the right node. Okay, and then after creating the node, the make node function returns the pointer to this node. Let's say P is the pointer to this node or p is the address of this node. So the make node function will return this p. Fine. So this is uh, the e produces in e produces e plus t. A node is formed and it returns the pointer to that node and which is accepted by e dot and ptr. Similarly, here the pointer value of t is assigned to e for this production, a node is formed with the data value multiplication sign and the two left two pointer left and right, and t dot and ptr and f dot and ptr. Okay. In this production, t dot and ptr is assigned to f dot and ptr, or f dot and ptr is assigned to t dot and ptr. Uh, f in f produces id and node is formed with the data value id dot lexical value and its left and right parameters are set to null okay whatever node is formed its uh, pointer is assigned to f now if uh, uh, the string passed to us is 3 plus 4 multiplied with 7 in that case what we will do we are going to form a pass tree which is e produces e plus t and then this t equals to t star f this e produces t and this t produces f and this f produces id for this t produces f and f produces id for this f f produces id this id is nothing but 3 this id is nothing but 4 and this id is nothing but 7 so what happens in the case of the syntax directed translation, <clears throat> we are going to go from left to right, okay, and then bottom to top. This is a reduction. So F produces ID is the production used for this reduction. So the ID is reduced to F. So a node is formed here with a data value 3. You see what is happening here? The id dot lexical value is 3, its left pointer is set to null, its right pointer is set to null, and a node is returned, and the address of the node is stored in f. Okay, so the address of the node is stored in f. Fine. Now, <clears throat> this reduction. So this reduction is saying that the address of f is assigned to t. Address of f is assigned to t. And then address of t is assigned to e. Address of t is assigned to e. Okay. And then this reduction f produces id. 
so again a node is formed and uh, node has a data value for whether its left pointer is null and right pointer is null because for f produces id this production is used this uh, semantic rule is used okay so its pointer is assigned to f then its pointer is assigned to t this reduction and then after this the starter value is assigned to f main f produces id is the reduction in this this semantic rule is used for which a node is formed okay with a data value 5 its left pointer is set to null and right pointer is also set to null okay after this this reduction which is saying that this was the t this was the f a node is formed okay a node is formed for this t produces t star f reduction with the multiplication sign as a parameter okay for left this is used so f pointer is assigned to this place and for right this is used so right pointer is assigned to this one so this is t dot nptr multiplied with f dot nptr so this is containing an address this is also containing an address so left pointer is assigned to t dot node ptr means t dot uh, uh, the 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 address assigned in t and then address assigned in f is set on the right side fine so this reduction is complete we are now going to this reduction which is saying that e produces e plus t has to be used so what is there in the e produces e plus t again a make node function which will create a node and plus is assigned okay plus is assigned as the data value for the left pointer e dot and ptr is used so this is the e and this is t so the address of left pointer is assigned to this address of right pointer is assigned to this one right so this is the final reduction so what we have done here we have actually created a syntax tree okay so this uh, syntax that uh, this question uh, which says that there is a grammar with the some production rule this is actually creating the syntax tree let's take four examples for example let's say this is uh, the grammar n produces l l produces lb l produces b b produces 0 and b produces 1 <clears throat> so what is happening here that uh, uh, you can say that uh, there is a number which generates a list the list is list of bits followed by a single bit and then the list produces a bit a bit may be either 0 or it may be 1 so if you have to count the number of ones in the given string let's say the string is 1101 and if we have to pass this what will happen n produces l and then l produces lb we'll be adding the bits to this again l produces lb again l produces lb and then finally a bit there are four bits so there has to be four bits here so a bit is either zero or one for the first bit this is one for the second one this is one for the third one this is zero and for the fourth one this is one fine so this is the syntax direct uh, syntax tree, uh, pass tree and after this pass tree let us do the semantic analysis here so what is the semantic analysis semantic rule set here that n dot c n dot count is equals to l dot count whatever is the count associated with the l will be given to n okay and then for l produces lb the count of 1 in l and the count of 1 in b is added together and is assigned to this left hand side l okay so count 
of uh, count of ones is equals to count of ones in ln count of one in b they will be added together and will store in the uh, parameter l dot c for l produces b uh, if uh, b dot count is added to l dot count b dot uh, p produces zero means a binary bit if, if the binary bit is zero it cannot be counted as one so b dot count is zero if the binary bit is one then the b dot count is set as one for this particular 1101 examples let's do the syntax director translation going down going down and then going up this is the reduction for, for this reduction b dot count is set as one okay and then l produces b is the production used and semantic rule is this one for this reduction whatever is the count of one with b is stored in count of one in l so count of b uh, count of one in b is one so that is assigned to count of one in l fine and then again going up this is the reduction so for this reduction count of one in b is set as one then going up this is also the reduction l produces lb so for l produces lb count of 1 in this l plus count of b here so both are added together and set as the count of 1 in this l so 1 plus 1 so 2 is the count of 1 up to this place okay and then again going up so count of 1 in this b is set as 0 according to this semantic rule because this is 0 again reduction l produces lb so count of 1 in l plus count of 1 in b are added together and count of 1 is set here which is 2 then going up for this reduction b produces 1 count of 1 is set as 1 in this b okay and then again going up this is also the reduction count of 1 in l plus count of 1 in b is added together for the count of 1 in this l so the count of 1 becomes 2 plus 1 3 here and then final reduction n produces l count of we are using this semantic rule count of 1 in l is set as count of 1 in n so total number of ones here are 3 okay Similarly, if you have to count the number of zeros, in that case, the three semantic rules will remain same, and this semantic rule will change. So b dot count is equals to one instead of this, and b dot count is equals to zero if we have a one. So if you have a zero, for that the counting is incremented by one. Counting is set as one. If we have a binary bit 1, the count is set as 0. So that's why this way we can count the zeros. Similarly, if you have to count the number of bits in the given number, for example, 1101. One, so for every occurrence of binary bit, we have to increase the counter. Okay. So either it is 0 or it is 1. In both the cases, the counting will be set as 1. So the semantic rule we say b dot count equals to 1 even in case we have 0 and b dot count is equals to 1 even if we have 1 so in the case of 0 also the counter is set as 1 and in the case of 1 also the counter is set as 1 fine so this way we can find out the uh, total number of bits in the given number now suppose we have to find out uh, the decimal equivalent of the given binary number so decimal equivalent of the uh, given binary number you, you must be knowing that if you have a number 1101 so how do we find the binary equivalent of this so 1 multiplied with 2 raised to the power 0 plus this 0 multiplied with 2 raised to the power 1 plus this 1 multiplied with 2 raised to the power 2 plus this 1 multiplied with 2 raised to the power 3 so uh, what is happening here that the power of 2 is increasing and the binary bit is multiplied and then the all these are added together so this way we find out the decimal equivalent of the given binary number 
uh, if you say that uh, this is the, the the number is let's say one 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 fine so this will be one into two raised to the power three plus one into two raised to the power two square plus one into two raised to the power one plus one into two raised to the power zero can it be written as one into two square okay, let's say let's take two square common here so this will be one into two plus one okay plus one into two raised to the power one plus one into two raised to the power zero now out of this we are taking a two out two raised to the power one so this will be one into two plus one and this multiplied with 2 plus 1 now plus 1 okay this can be rewritten as 1 into 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 2 and then plus 1 okay so this is the this is the way that binary bit multiplied with 2 and then add it with 1 or 0. If the binary bit is 1, it is 1. If the binary bit is 0, it is 0. So this way we can rewrite the arithmetic performed to convert the binary number to decimal. So what is happening that we have to just write the new production, uh, uh, new semantic rules. These are the These are the production for the binary numbers. They remain same as this one. It is just that we have to change the semantic rules. So what will the semantic rules be for this? See, if the binary bit is 1, obviously the binary bit's value will be set as 1. If the binary bit is 0, the value of the binary bit will be set as 0 okay this is obvious similarly if you have a single bit then whatever is the value of this bit will be set as the value of the cell so l dot value is set as b dot value and when we have l produces lb what will happen in the case of this one let's say we already have the one one and we are adding a, another bit let's say one we are actually concatenating one board bit, let's say 1. So if we already have found the decimal equivalent of this number, if we already have find, found the decimal equivalent of this number, we just multiply that number with 2 and add this binary bit to that. That's what we have done here. Okay. So what will we do here? We have already the value of this L. This binary bit is concatenated after this, this L. This is a sequence of bits. So we know the, the decimal equivalent of this sequence of bit. Another bit is added there. So whatever value we had earlier, we, this is multiplied with 2 and then added with the binary bit that we have. Okay. If binary bit is 0, 0 will be added. If binary bit is 1, binary bit 1 will be added fine now after this n produces l means whatever is the value with this l decimal value with this l will be assigned to this n fine now if you take an example of uh, this only for let's say 1101 okay so for this 1101 how will this uh, be computed Let's uh, draw the syntax tree for this. N produces L and then this L produces LB, L produces LB, L produces LB and then finally L produces B. So first this B is producing 1. Then this B is producing 1, this B is producing 0 and this B is producing 1. So for the syntax analysis, what you're doing, semantic analysis. 
So this is the reduction. B produces 1. So data value in B is set as 1. And that's then this reduction. Whatever is the data value with B is assigned to this data value L. We have already written this, these rules. The rule will change only for this one. L produces LB. So data value with L is 1. This reduction data value with B is set as 1. And then this reduction L produces LB. So what will happen in the case of L produces LB? We already have a decimal equivalent of this that is 1. That will be multiplied with 2. And the decimal equivalent of uh, the binary bit value, this one. So this value is 3. So decimal equivalent up to this 3. And then this reduction, data value of B is set as 0. And then again this reduction, L produces LB. So what will happen? 3 will be multiplied with 2. And the bit value of this is 0. So this will be 3 into 2, 6. Fine. And then going up, this reduction, B produces 1. So data value of B is set as 1. And then again, that kind of reduction, L produces LB. So data value of this is decimal equivalent of this L is 6. Decimal uh, binary bit is 1. So 6 multiplied with 2 and then this plus 1. So this is 13. So 13 is the decimal equivalent of uh, up to this place. And then this reduction which is saying that n produces L. So what the uh, value assigned to L is assigned to n. So this is the final reduction and the decimal equivalent of the given number is given binary number is 13. Thank you.